All right, day 16. Who could use more of our attention, care, and energy at this time? So a few things comes up. As we think about this, we start trying to figure out who in our life, I'm sure there are many people in our lives that could use more of our attention. Life is just speeding by. <clears throat> but uh, some specifics to help you narrow that down or at least inspire you to figure out who that is so that you can take action. We have the King of Pentacles that comes up first. This is representing somebody, uh, usually a man, that is a patient man who you've been able to rely on. Let's say <clears throat> practical, um, full of energy, even if you don't always see that side. It's a fixer of things. This person is a fixer of things, a teacher for those who listen. Maybe it's a, a father, a brother, husband. It could even be an employee, a coworker. Maybe somebody, you know, uh, from some of your social circles, for people who go to church. Maybe it's someone at your church or within, you know, some type of social circle like that. <clears throat> but try and fill this out. Dig in. Feel out who this, who this could be for you. They're in need of some attention. Maybe they give you their attention every time you need it. Maybe they don't ask you for your time and attention, but they need it. And so dig in and figure out who that could be for you. Um, also, could be the same person or this could be someone else, but a person that brings balance. So the two of cups here is representing uh, a person who brings balance and harmony into the lives of others. It could be your life. It could be someone you witness doing this for others all the time. But right now, they need to feel that reciprocation. They need to feel that from someone. They need to be um, realized is the word that's coming up for me. And so this could be two different people or this could be the same person. But ways that you can do that, we've seen this card actually just in the last couple of days is four of wands, but uh, ways that you could do that is, you know, spend physical time with these persons or person, maybe some FaceTime action virtually or on the phone, uh, you know, but just be present for them. Celebrate their successes with them. If they can't see their successes, maybe they're in a dark place, maybe they're just not able to see their full potential or maybe they're facing some hard times right now that are, are going to pass, but celebrate their successes with them. And if they can't see their successes, then help them see those with grace, with patience. Um, maybe book an away trip. If this is someone that you're pretty close to uh, normally, but life has just gotten in the way, book a trip. Maybe it's a weekend, maybe it's a night thing, but go catch up and bond. And then set a reminder, right, on your calendar. Maybe it's your phone calendar or whatnot, but set reminders to touch base with people. Set reminders so that as life is passing everyone by, you're not getting caught up in neglecting the people that actually matter to you, that have always made time for you. And just don't let life get too caught up that, that you miss out on important relationships that do matter to you. I hear people say all the time, you make priorities for things that matter. You do, uh, but you don't either. So, I mean, you just always kind of assume sometimes that people will always be there regardless of what's happening, and, and, and many will. I'm not discounting that, but it's not a dig at those who life just gets caught up with us, right? And so I don't tend to think that <clears throat> the people that, don't reach out to me all the time. Don't give a shit because I just don't believe that way. But make an effort. Be conscious about it. Reach out to people. Don't forget the people that helped you through different times and experiences because they're going to need that too. And maybe there's no one else in their circle that's reaching out to them. So just a mindful self-reflection practice like everything else we're doing this month. So dig in. Think about who these people could be. Right? Maybe, maybe it's someone you haven't talked to in a long time, or maybe it's somebody you talked to in the last couple weeks. Have a great day.